Hello, good evening from here. My name is Paul, and you are welcome to Opinion Sharers. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the role of women in relationships. Madam Dorothy, who is a Hello, woman? Sir. A woman is that one rib, one single rib that is stronger than the remaining 23 ribs. Stronger, not in strength, not in uh, energy, but stronger. A woman is that light that shines in the life of a man, and he will never remain the same again. A woman is a vital part of a man's life, without whom a man is not truly complete. Okay, now, that is, uh, that is uh, loaded there. Anyway, let's, let's hear from the men, uh, from a man, then I'll go to Chinomso. Tulay. But a woman is, uh, will not always be the female gender, always, because there is still a place for a girl. So a woman will be like a developed female um, counterpart of a man. Okay, so I will come back to a question for that, because when you say developed, you know, what makes a woman developed? Anyway, Shinam, so who is a woman? Who do you think a woman is? Okay, so firstly, I just want to say that um, a woman is the adult feminine gender, you know, of a human, which is like the normal definition. And I do not want to go into, you know, the conventional definition of maybe the scientific definition of, you know, chromosomes, which I think, you know, is one of the superhuman powers you know, women have that they are able to bring in like new life into the world. And I don't also want to go into, you know, the biblical definition where they say the woman is made out of a man. So I wrote down my own, you know, definition. I want to say a woman is hardworking, respectful, considerate, smart and dedicated to the role she has to play. She is one who recognizes the strength of her heart, mind and body that proves that she's more than what society tends her to be. And if she's a married woman, then a woman is one who loves, supports, respects her husband, and cares for the family. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's you. that's brilliant, village boy. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, who is a woman? A woman is uh, a complicated woman being <laughs> that. Um, is better understood by her action than by her words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a woman is complicated. No, me I said it. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to start from there. Madam Dorothy, do you think women are complicated? Uh, what what makes a woman to appear compli complicated is when she is not understood, when she's in an environment where there's already a mindset, a perception of her, where she's not allowed to explore her potentials freely, then she appears complicated because a woman can hold back, a woman can, you know, she can be, a woman can be too many things. If that's what you call complicated, a woman can be too many things. She can be weak, she can be strong, she can be uh, argumentative, she can also be silent, she can be, she can be everything. If we look at it that way, it's not complicated. She needs to be understood. Her potentials need to be her next. No, that's, that's my view. Thank you very much, Ma. She said uh, a woman is perceived to be to be uh, complicated, so she's kind of disagreeing with the village boy, and um, I don't have opinion as, as far as that that is concerned. And she also said a woman is uh, can be too many things, and I think I would uh, I, I agree. So I'm going to ask uh, Madam Yetunde, do you think uh, women are complicated? I think women are very complicated. I think all human beings, human beings in general, are very complicated. 
but I think women are very complicated. Um, I think because uh, we are we, we we are logical beings, but we are also very emotional. I think uh, men are emotional, too, but not as led by emotions as um, women are. Uh, which is not to say that women are not. Um, which is not to say that we we are not logical beings altogether. It's just it's just is. So I think men um, they are very confused when they are looking at women because they think ah. This is very logical. You should be able to do this thing this way, that, 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 that. And the woman is, has seen things in so many angles and from so many ways and all she's looking at it in so many. And man is like, see, a lot of the time, that's why people came and they coined when they said um, women are from Venus and men are from Mars. A lot of the time when I see disagreements between a man and a woman, and they don't even have to be romantically involved. The, a disagreement can be so simple. And the reason for it doesn't even make any sense. Because you wonder why they are arguing. The man will be like, I don't know why she's angry. Why is she so angry? And the woman will be like, you know what you did. You know what you did. They don't know anything. It's just, it's, our minds have just gone and seen everything, you know. So I think, yeah, I think women are very complicated. I think women are way more complicated than men are anyway. That is, this, this is my opinion. Okay, thank you so much. All right, she has uh, further complicated it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thank you for, for doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to ask uh, Timile, do you think women are complicated? I'm asking you two in one question. Do you think women are complicated? One. Two, do you think women have superpowers? And so, and if you think they have superpowers, I'm going to be asking some other women, especially those who think women are, have superpowers. What are those superpowers? So, thank Timile, you. I hope you I, understand. I think I already gave my opinion about um, the first question. Of course, they are, I agreed straight away when um, the village boy mentioned that. Uh, Madam Dorothy's um, explanation of uh, appearing to be complicated. So she further made the case that women ought to be more understood. Maybe they should be more um, studied. But whatever you cannot understand easily is complicated. And that's just it. No, from my own perspective so true i truly i agree that they need more attention to be more they need to be more studied but whatever it is that you have to study so so well and still end up failing <laughs> probably is complicated and then so that's my take on the first one and yes they do they do have superpowers in fact to carry a whole human being for nine months that's um if we were not from this planet, we would say that's impossible. But um, so they have superpowers, many of them. And, you know, it's it's um, the superpowers that women carry actually also um, differ from one woman to the other. So they have their strengths and of course they have their weakness. But yes, they do have superpowers. OK, thank you. Timlai. I'm going to go to Nomso. Um, so do you think women are complicated, whether married or single, whether a boy, a girl, or a grown-up woman? Okay, so I've been trying to avoid that question because I would like to cover my face since a whole lot of my people are watching. Women don't like to be termed as complicated. They don't like it. They 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 like to there's there's an explanation for men thinking that women are complicated. Our uh, hormones, that's, that's the explanation we always give you. <laughs> our hormones, what happens inside our body and then we bring it out. I just feel like, okay, yeah, if we sincerely want to say it the way it is, women are complicated because, you know, one thing that goes through our body, there's, there's mood swing and then there's, you know, character change and, you know, and then there's the rest. So, yeah, women, women are complicated. But, like, I leave it to the men to know how to understand your woman. You should understand when this is going on at a particular time and how to manage that situation. And I think that's that's like what men should be able to do instead of you know terming women as complicated because truly women go through a lot. We go through a lot that most people don't even know. Yeah.